lot of times. I mean, but. they were huge just in those moments where they weren't scoring, weren't really getting stops. And, you know, just, just their energy they really carried our momentum throughout the game. They were big keys in the game. Did y'all realize Miami, they just sort of like they wore down there in that last three or four minutes. Like, you guys just, they were spent. Did you guys feel like you could do that, though? Yeah, we, we defend the ball so well. And just on defense, you want to have activity and guys, you know, exert the energy. And obviously, late in the game, they, they couldn't hold up. How much more comfortable have you guys gotten playing here in Greenville? Do you feel like it's really starting to become a home court advantage for you guys? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, even with the fans coming out more, you know, it's, it's definitely giving you that home court feel. And, you know, we, we've been playing well. We want to last like, three or four here, and, you know, we'll keep that rolling. At the 13-0 run, it wasn't easy baskets, per se. It was, it was a lot of outside shooting. Do you guys feel more confident uh, shooting the ball in clutch moments than maybe you did in December? I mean, I just think we just, we're not really thinking about clutch moments or anything. We're just, you know, Following, following our fundamentals and just playing with confidence right now and we got to step it up making great plays. Before the game, were you guys aware that if you one day beat three straight over top 25 teams for the first time ever? Yeah. <laughs> well, was, was there talk about that in the locker room, about making history? Not much. We didn't, want, we didn't really want to consume us. You know, we knew we had a big game today. We knew we had to take care of business. So we didn't really want any outside things you know, to affect us. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily about making history. It was just about taking care of business today. Guys, how far can you take this thing? Like I said, uh, just take care of business each day. You know, it's one day at a time. You know, each game is big in the ACC. And I mean, that's our approach. And, you know, we'll get over this one and prepare for the next one. You guys have been here a while. These were the stretches that used to eat this team alive after a little bit of momentum, which even after the Florida State game, I mean, it, you could, it could have gone the other way here. What's different this past week? I think the leadership from the older guys, you know, really taking hold of the team. You know, guys like Jordan and Landry and myself, you know, we've been through the battles. And, we know what it takes to win in these tough moments, and you know we have to rally the troops when things don't go well. And tonight, you know, we did that. You know, a couple calls didn't go our way. You know, Coach Brown ended up getting a technical foul, and you know we could just quit. But the order guys were just rally the troops, and we fought back. Especially with Landry out, how would you guys have to change it up, and what City did? Well, City's been playing really well all year. You know, he's really improved on his game. He's really been able to shoot the ball and rebound the ball, and it's really been helping us. You know, he, he he works hard whenever he's out on the court, and you know there's no drop off between him and Landry. Do you think it's just a matter of you guys are everybody's kind of getting comfortable in their role now that they you guys kind of know what you're going to do, what you expect, and that kind of thing from each other? Yeah, I mean, a game of basketball is a lot of confidence and momentum that is involved. And right now, we have both, and we're playing really well. The guys are stepping into their roles and doing what they're supposed to do. And I mean, it, we just hit the head, the nail on the head, just continuously, and you know, we just fight every day. And the guys are stepping up, and it's really paying off. Y'all continue your good free throw shooting today, especially down the stretch. Is that a byproduct of the extra work you've been putting in, or confidence, or a combination of the two? I think it's a combination of the two. I mean, guys are always constantly in the gym. You know, like I said last time, guys would be in the gym late night getting extra work and paying off. How important was that in the first half where there was a long stretch where nobody scored, but you were able to, to play defense to keep them from scoring so that the game didn't get away from them? Well, we know what we do really well, and that's defense. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna come out here and outscore these teams every night and beat them. You know, we're just not built that way. You know, the way we win is defense and you know we can't we can't get outside ourselves and then just think we're an offensive team because we're making shots really and in stretches like that you just don't defend in the limits and then let them run the score you know that's not how we work you know we have to defend every play even though we run the score we can't let our offense affect our defense. John what was different for you it's like 17 points in the second half what was working for you? Uh, just confidence you know making open shots when I got them and my teammates you know telling me to keep shooting the ball and keep working JV. Where you guys were at in December, did you realistically believe you'd be at this point winning five straight games of the ACC? Yes. <laughs> Jordan, what did, you guys, what did you guys do to kind of make uh, Rodriguez a little more uncomfortable out there, especially in the second half? Uh, well, credits are our post players. You know, they're, they're long athletic and did a, diff uh, a lot of different things. You know, we, I can't keep the terminology. <laughs> but we, did, we gave a lot of different looks, and uh, I think it really slowed up. Just giving him different looks, you know, he had to read, make a lot of different reads, and I think that that was a factor. McClellan had that look in the first half where he was kind of in the zone, and in the second half, you guys were able to take him away. Were there adjustments in the locker room to, to kind of limit him as well? Yeah. Coach Brunel was really getting on the guards at halftime, you know, that we weren't just, we weren't as tenacious on defense, you know, getting over ball screens and under ball screens and just guarding the ball. So I think that was the big difference, you know, we were more aggressive on defense. Jerome, you looked at the schedule early on and saw the stretch that you're in now. People on the outside follow it as maybe a murder of row. Once you win one game, does it help you win into the next game and it's back to back to back to back and your confidence is Yeah, definitely. You know, I think well even even at UNC, you know, we played played a great game. You know, we were in the game with six
six minutes left, you know, we had a chance to win, but things didn't go our way. And ever since then, we've been really confident. You know, we came here, beat Florida State. You know, the momentum from that game carried over to the next game, and obviously, you know, it's taking us to where we are right now. So, you know, another like the sky's the limit for this team if we just keep being coachable and coming to work every day. You all mentioned leadership focus. Was it something that happened, like, if you got back from Christmas, getting ready to go to that first conference game? Was there, did you all get together as, you know, meeting as a team? Where did this, where did this kind of leadership and confidence run start for this team? Uh, yeah, I think it was after Christmas. I mean, that stretch of just, like, last game before Christmas, I think guys, mentally more so, like, maybe check out, maybe don't. It's just, like, a thing that guys have to get over. But coming back, we knew that we, we had to decide what kind of season we wanted to have. And that was the main talk to the coaches and the players and just accepting roles and stepping up and getting to the gym and putting in time on our craft just to, you know, decide what kind of season we want to have. Going into a learn from that first game against North Carolina, good top 25 team. Uh, played well, Vondo was about 12, I believe. What did you all see and improve on in that game that's helped you all through this stretch? Uh, well, I mean, I think, you know, just the moral victory of the game was that we showed that we could play with a team that is talented as North Carolina. And, you know, just that little bit of confidence and momentum went into the next game. And it's just been rolling like that. It's just, as Coach Brownell says, Uncle Mo, Uncle Momentum. And, I mean, it's just huge for us right now. And we just want to keep building on that. Going into a road game at Virginia, how much does it help to have this run of games that you all won at home? It's huge. It builds your confidence. And, like I said, it just adds more momentum to the moment. When you guys built that 10-point lead, is that maybe the best you guys can play, do you think? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess. I hope, I guess. <laughs> you know, I mean, I thought we played really well today, and, you know, that 13-0 that stretch where we, you know, just won the ball, defending, getting stops. I mean, that's just how we want to play. We want to get up and down, get stops, and just have fun out there. I mean, 13-0 runs up fun. Is, you know, we love to do that. Is this a good time to go play? Virginia on the road and the way y'all are playing right now, it seems like you, know, you certainly can go to Charleston and get a win. That's a mentality right now. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're playing well. Like I said, we have confidence and we have momentum right now. So, you know, you just want to, we're ready to take on any challenge that's ahead. Now that football season is over and you're in the middle of this historic uh, win streak of yours, have, have you felt a little bit more excitement on campus uh, for the basketball program? Um, you're second place in the ACC right now. Uh, I graduated. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think it did. Yeah, the fan support today was awesome. Though. Yeah, absolutely. It was, they, were, they were awesome today. You know, I mean, we love. We always joke around, but we love to hear like when you do the cadence count, just shut the band off. And it's just like loud. Like, see, we love that so much, and they were awesome today. Do you draw motivation from what a football team's success did to kind of want to follow that up and have your own success? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's a, it's definitely a feel good story. You know, they they had an unbelievable season. Have unbelievable players, but uh, we try to focus on having our own season and you know, trying to draw just just winning. Basically, I mean they they won every game except for last, but I mean we don't really try to like say let's be like the football team. We try to have our own journey. Gerard, how do you take this success on the road at Virginia and kind of recapture what you did at at, uh, at Q's? Uh, well, like we've been saying, uh, we have momentum right now. We're a very confident team, man. Virginia's a really good team, and I feel like with what we've been doing lately and with the tools we have, I feel like we have the ability to go through and Seems like the bench has really stepped this game up with the annex on the side since y'all been winning. <laughs> like, you guys play a lot, but do you, I mean, do you notice that? Is that oh, yeah. Factor? Definitely. We we like to get like videos that people in the crowd send to like, our family. Uh, I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, like I said, it's part of the momentum and the confidence. And it's just fun. You know, we, we try to add fun to the game at all times in any way. And, and those guys are enthusiastic on the bench and it feeds. You know, a lot of times at the beginning of the year, we weren't playing in, huge, in front of huge crowds like tonight, and they were our energy givers. And that's a huge thing Coach talks about. You know, you said you're having fun and everything. We can sit by, you know, the way you're a a acting on the court. But did you have this kind of fun last year? Uh, yeah, at, at moments. But, uh, I mean, right now we're in a great stretch. So, uh, obviously, we're having way more fun right now because, but, I mean, there's going to be adversity, and, and, and I mean, we just have to tackle each challenge. 